All right, everybody. So what we're going to do today is the passenger side version. We're going to take out the this rotor here. We're going to take out the uh, lower control arm, upper control arm, and work on getting the uh, the new uh, shock put on. We're going to redo the uh, tie rod ends here as well. So follow along, we'll try to make this clear. I've already done the right side, so I've got a little bit better idea what I'm doing for the first time here. So hope it'll be kind of interesting to you. And we'll see how it goes. At first, this looks kind of, kind of an overwhelming job, but uh, it's nice to be able to look at now. Having already done the left side, and it should go a lot quicker. The size of these brakes compared to the O2 cars is really, really incredible. Can't wait to see how it helps. Honestly, the brakes I didn't think were too bad. But uh, I'm sure this will make an improvement. There we go. Just gently. I don't know if I'll reuse these parts, so just be gentle when you're pulling it off. There we go. There's the old one. All right, so there's, there's that. Originally, I was just going to drop the whole thing out, but it's a little bit harder than it looks. So we'll uh, we'll pull it apart piece by piece. I think we'll try to um, try to knock out the top here, and then pull this. Uh, steering knuckle off I think that'll be a little bit a little bit easier pull these clips out here we're going to put a new control arm on so we can pull these tabs out for the new part that one broke bummer that one broke it's old plastic okay we got one one's working Wrong size. I believe this is an 18 millimeter. Yep. <clears throat> pickle fork here. Thankfully we don't have to worry about protecting these ball joints. Get that little tap. And there it goes. Used to be really scared to do this type of work. One of those things where the more you do it, the easier it is. Working on the lower ball joint here. A little tricky to get this pin out.
Tail that got caught up there. Forgot about this trick to get the cotter pin out. Wow, that makes a big difference. I think my dad showed me that. And I just totally forgot about it. Alright, that's not an 18, I believe that's a 7 8. The wrench to find out. Oh wow, look, there we go. Well, the 7 8 looks like it'll work. Huh. Okay. Good grief. <clears throat> that's on there tight. Now we don't have to pull this off, but it'd be nice to pull it off. We'll see what all. That ain't working. I don't. Maybe it's not. All right. Well, that was pretty good, except for we got a little bit close to the. Uh, wheel sensor here. I didn't want to do that, but I did get the nut popped off, so pull that off. There we go. Now we can just pull this off with the... Nice. That wasn't too bad. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these parts yet, but it'll make it easier to um, store them, depending on what I want to do. bad about this is I don't have the shock gun done yet so trying to get this off is really just kind of stupid so we'll take a break from that we'll loosen these up and uh, go from there <clears throat> all right so on the stock shock bolts it's a 15 on top and I believe a 13 yep 13 on the bottom We're going to try this this way and see how well it works. Once we uh, get the shock off, it should be easier to get this lower ball joint off. Yep, there it goes. Kind of came off by itself if you look at it. Saw it just drop there. That was kind of cool. Kind of wish I thought about that to start with. Oh, well. Put that over to the side. I don't know if you're like me, but the worst thing is getting this stuff and losing it. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I do that so well. I'll put it somewhere that I won't be able to find it. Aggravating. I did that yesterday when I was starting on the other side. I just could not find it. I already pulled out the uh, sway bar yesterday. Just made it a little bit easier. There's that. There it goes. Probably need to loosen the uh, strut bolts at the top. We'll work on that in a minute here. Get this off. Unsprung weight. Yep, there it is. Let's see if it'll pop now.
Worked a little bit. Still got a ways to go. Yeah, we'll get it eventually. We'll get it eventually. What we do need to do is loosen up top here. We'll probably do that next because this is bouncing around on it now. Sometimes you can just knock the shoulder here too. Think, yeah, there it is. There you go, folks. Basically out. We'll go ahead and work on up here first. Leave that semi installed. See if we can get the uh, this other one out. Yep. There we go. Oh, yep. cool. Only, only one there. Nice. Only one prong to this cotter pin. That's it. There we go. I don't remember the size. Let's see what it is. No, it's not a 17. Hmm. Must be a 15. Of course, I don't have that with me. No, 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 no. 15. Right. I, I might pull the jack over here and support the seal. Don't want to mess up the uh, strut housing there. Give it a little pressure and hold the hammer on that upper. There we go. Now this disc is seized on the wheel bearing, so that's why I haven't moved it yet. All right, got that nut off. Give it a little tap here. Didn't even have to use a fork on that one. So now we get this pulled right off. There you go. And it truly is a little bit easier to pull it apart that way and to drop it all out. If you're doing a whole uh, K member, obviously that's the easiest way to do it. We'll go ahead and get um, moved to the upper and get this done and uh, go from there. 